everyone this morning oh my gosh i'm so excited so in today's uh fun fold friday this week's fun fold friday i am going to show you how to make a fun fold in less than five minutes it is a super simple fun fold and it is great for the stamp set that i'm going to be using it with anyway stay tuned to the end i've got also i've got a great special offer for you i cannot wait to share with you now for those of you who don't know me my name is Christina Reese and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page. Then I upload it to my YouTube channel. And so if you're catching me on the replay, please give us a shout out, say hello, tell us where you're from. And um, anyway, so we've got some people with us this morning. Good morning, Debbie Cox. And hey, Mima, you made it this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And Kim is here and Debbie Spicer. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show you this card. So, the card we're going to make today is called a collar fold. Now, you've probably seen this fold everywhere, but this is the fun fold that if you just want to make a cute fun fold, but you don't have much time to get out instructions and everything, this one you just, you remember off the top of your head once you've made one. And so with that, let's get started. Oh, thank you for sharing, Linda. And good morning, Colleen. All right, so, our fun fold this morning requires a card base, of course. Um, I'm cutting mine, whoops, whip over, I always forget that part. <laughs> and all right, so um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, <laughs> what we need to make this card. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, four and a quarter by 11 folded in half at the five and a half, okay? And this is my card base. Now you can make it the other way, eight and a half by five and a half and fold it by four and a quarter, that's fine. I do it this way when I wanna tie a uh, ribbon or twine around the card, it just makes it easier. And we are gonna be tying some twine up here. Okay, so here's our base. Now, our layer, you need a four by five and a quarter piece of designer paper. And this is that beautiful, uh, Butterf butterfly brilliance um, actually they're calling the paper butterfly by you so that's pretty cool uh, let me just show this paper to you real quick I mean I just can't get over how gorgeous it is um, this piece with the large butterflies you can use it as it is but it also has a die that will cut all of these butterflies out in one uh, sweep one swipe through the cutting machine. You'll get six butterflies. So cool. The back side, beautiful. Then you have all these itty bitty butterflies and the back side. Then you have these beautiful pink and uh, turquoise, or actually that's Bermuda Bay, and the back. Whoops. Uh, this is the rainbow butterflies. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And the back. Um, here is the uh, paper that we're using today. We're using this paper today and this beautiful monarch paper all right so that is the butterfly bayou paper it's so pretty now there's a little bit more paper this is the specialty paper and it is wood grained embossed and it feels like leather it's really cool paper anyways all right enough about paper let's get back to our card here we go hey marty good morning oh and thanks for sharing hey, hey susan good morning she's from florida also all right, here we go. We have four by five and a quarter. You need a pair of scissors. Here you go. Get your snips out. Go right in the middle right here, and you're going right to the center right there. And you don't even have to measure. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can do one uh, cut, or you can go in just a little more either way. And all you do is fold these down. Now, I don't like for this to be a straight edge here. I like it to be a little bit uh, angled. All right, so I have it angled right there. I'll pull this up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And the other side. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm doing the wrong side. Woo, I, I want my butterflies coming out. There we go. My butterflies coming out. There we go. And you could do either side. See how easy that was? So you can have the um, graphic tone-on-tone -tone paper showing as your main paper, and then you... Uh, fold this back to show the uh, other side or like I said we could do it this way 
Okay, that's a cool way to do it too. You also could have the cut coming from this side. You could have a horizontal card, and that's why it's called the collar fold. You see how that looks like a shirt collar? You could have it coming from the bottom. So any direction, but I'm doing it this way, and I want it to look like this. So here we go. There is our fold. Let me come back out so we can watch the rest of the card easier. All right, now that we have the uh, second part, this layer done, we cut to the center and we folded back the corners. Now we need to attach this to our card base. So here's our card base. And I'm going to use glue. Um, it's just a little sturdier. Uh, tape will work also because um, you're not really doing much uh, moving around with this card. This is just a, a fold. But there we go. Oh, and the other reason I like liquid glue is because you can move it around a little bit before it... Yeah, and I put it on the wrong side. Oh, well, we'll just have our butterfly going this way. Good grief, I'm having a fun time this morning. <laughs> you can have your corner fold coming either way. I'm doing it this way. And, like I said, this uh, butterfly paper here that you can cut the butterflies out of, this just comes from right there. I love it. And we're just putting our little butterfly right there. Isn't that fun? I'm, I love this. This is the easiest card. Um... So, uh, but I am going to attach my butterfly on with dimensionals. So let's get this going here. Um, I want this uh, enough room here for my stamp. So, um, and I'm choosing a stamp from Queen Anne's Lace. The butterfly uh, bouquet does not come with uh, sentiments. It's just butterflies, which is great because you can go and get all those sentiment uh, stamp sets that you have that you hardly ever use and this one says hello friend okay so Queen Anne's Lace and so and it's little enough to fit in that little fold too okay love that so we're gonna put hello friend so our butterfly is just gonna go right there and that means I need a dimensional there go ahead and put one over here too yes Marty and this is the greatest set it's just so fun Susan loves it too. Awesome. All right, so here we go, and we're going to tilt our little butterfly so it's kind of going up. Yeah, there we go. All right, so pretty. And then I just leave the, the collar fold loose. You could tack them down if you wanted. Use uh, dimensionals to, so it's lifted, but tack down, but um, I like it being loose like that. Okay, we need to stamp our stamp. Let's do that. Like I said, if you wanted to make a whole bunch of these, it doesn't take any time at all. I mean, it is so fast. We are pretty much done. Um, I like doing adding just a little bit more to it, so um, it's a little more decorative. Like I said, I want twine. Now, this black and... Okay, I just dropped something. Oh, it's the lid to my glue. <laughs> ah, come here. I'm like, what was that noise? There we go. Um... Black and white uh, thread comes from the uh, Playful Pets, and, whoops, come here. There we go. Okay. And I haven't used my uh, tweezers in a while. Let me get those out, because they do really help when you're trying to tie a bow. I've been trying to do it without lately, and it's just not as easy. But yeah, these self-clamping tweezers. There we go. And we have our bow on there. Awesome, huh? <laughs> so pretty. I mean, that's it. We are done. That was just the fastest card. Um, I'm only been nine minutes. Oh, wow, I'm going to beat my record today. All right, what do we got in here? Um, oh, Tammy. Tammy uh, Roberts is up in uh, Canada, you all, and it is minus 26 up there. Here in Texas, we uh, have been in the 70s and 80s. We've got all our flowers are starting to bloom, and a lot of us are going to try to go gardening. Well, beware, Texans. Don't garden yet. The last average day of freeze in Texas is the 17th of March. My husband, every year he gets so excited on these warm February, I mean, the last week in February, early weeks in March, gets so exciting, goes out and starts planting his garden. 
and inevitably we'll get a frost. We'll get, you know, one, one little freeze and he has to start all over. So <laughs> unless what you're planning is freeze hardy, wait and just enjoy the sunshine <laughs> instead of gardening in it. Okay. <sighs> What's next on my list? Oh, my special offer. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. So you guys, this butterfly suite, the stamp set and the dies will be available in the new catalog that comes out in May, but this paper is not. This paper is limited time only. It's just while supplies last. So um, my special offer to you all is if you buy the suite, the stamp set, the dies, the paper, I am going to send you a card tutorial to make all of these cards free. I'm just sending you the card tutorial if you order the suite, okay, the butterfly stamp set and uh, dies and the paper. And like I said, the paper is just gorgeous and um, just too pretty. Okay, that is my social offer. When you order it, just send me an email that I ordered it because I get tons of orders in every day and I can't keep up with who's ordered what. Um, but if you'll quickly email me or text me and say, hey, I just ordered the butterflies, I will send you the PDF with six card tutorials so you can use your butterfly paper and uh, dies right away. Okay, that is all I have for this morning. I am having a uh, plans tonight. Hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? So uh, I was talking about going out and gardening and some of you are still in the winter. I am going out and celebrating my upline's birthday tonight. So Francine, I haven't seen you on here this morning, but Francine Wilson is my upline. She convinced me to join Stampin' Up! four years ago and I have not looked back. I love every bit of, a bit of it and I especially love my friendships I've made, especially with Francine. So Francine, happy birthday and we will have fun tonight. Um, you all have a great weekend, and uh, love you guys. That's about it. Bye-bye. <laughs>